Here are three tech updates to get you through your Monday. Y'all, we need to talk more about Honda and Kia. A couple of videos ago, I talked about their massive settlement for those affected by their anti-theft module just not being placed in millions of their cars. Well, now over 90,000 of its vehicles may just spontaneously catch fire. The automaker is recalling 92,000 US vehicles due to an electronic controller in their oil pumps, which can overheat and cause fires. Until these vehicles can be serviced, they're asking owners to park their very expensive vehicles outside and away from structures until the replacements can be made. This recall specifically affects the 2023 Tuscan, Sonata, Elantra, and Kona vehicles and as well as the 2023-2024 Palisades for the Hyundai end. For Kia, it covers 2023 Soul and Sportages, as well as 2023 and 2024 Seltos models. So far, there have been 10 incidents of melting components across those, but thankfully there are no injuries or fires as of yet. Owners that have these models will definitely want to call their dealers as soon as possible, since not only are there bound to be wait times for the parts to come in, their service departments are under undoubtedly still trying to work through all of the anti-theft updates that are rolling in. What a time to own a Kia. For those of you that might have missed the live stream last week, Pokemon had a Pokemon Presents live stream which was super anticlimactic. Here's everything that was announced. Pokemon Path to the Peak was announced which is an animated series that focuses on the trading card game. The first episode aired during the start of the Pokemon World Championships last week. We also saw a new trailer for the upcoming Detective Pikachu game, which is set to arrive October 6th on the Nintendo Switch. Pokemon also announced its upcoming animated series, Pokemon Horizons, and gave us the first look at the Paldea region and some new characters coming to the show. There's no release date for the series as of yet, but those that are too eager to wait can watch the animated web series Paldean Wins which comes out September 6th. The team showed more footage of the upcoming Scarlet and Violet DLC as the first expansion, the Teal Mask, is set to release in just under a month now. To prepare for that, the company is also hosting a Mewtwo and Mew event in Scarlet and Violet, where you can receive a free Mew as a mystery gift and battle Mewtwo with it in terror raids. Paldea and Pokemon are also coming to Pokemon Go soon. Probably the most important news, at least for me, is that the Pokemon trading card Game Boy game and Pokemon Stadium 2 are finally coming to the Switch. By that I mean they're already here and I've played them a lot and you should too. The trading card game was pretty great for a Game Boy game. And finally, a settlement against Apple over throttling older iPhones may come closer to a payout soon as a judge denied objections against the offer. Here's what you need to know. Way back in May of 2020, Apple and the court proposed a settlement to end a series of class action lawsuits that centered around Apple's throttling controversy. This entailed the company backing features into the software that would knowingly cause slowdowns of older models as well as the battery life taking a significant hit by it. All in order to get you to update to the latest and greatest iPhone. Am I right? After years of internal struggles, the court has denied Apple's appeal, which will pave a path for payouts to begin. Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to be immediate, since it will still need to have certain time periods for people to fill out claims and others to object, but progress is progress, right? Apple is set to be paying out between $310 and $500 million, with the average compensation per claimant being around 65. I will have more information later on when they do have an official ruling and where to fill out a claim so you can get your cash. That's all I have for now. Hit the follow button, friends, and I'll see you back here for some more tech tea.